section 48 of Up One Pairs of Stairs of my bookhouse. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by TK. Up One Pair of Stairs of my bookhouse. Edited by Olive Poppe Miller, the boy hero of Harlem, a legend of Holland. Little Hans in his wooden shoes ran clattering along on the brick pavement beside a kennel in the old Dutch city of Harlem. He was on his way to carry some beautiful gingerbread cakes, all decorated with colored seeds, to a very dear friend of his, an old man who lived some five miles away by the sea. Swinging his basket and whistling a merry tune, he hurried along through the quaint old marketplace, down the shady streets and out into the country. Soon he overtook a little girl who was driving a flock of geese. Look, boy, cried the girl, see how swollen with water the kennel is. It's almost overflowing. Yes, answered Hans. It is the spring rains that have done it. My father keeps the sluice gates. I'm glad that his gates are big and strong, so he can shut out the sea and keep the water from flooding all the land. The girl with the geese shivered. Just suppose, she said. The sea should once get through the gates or through the dikes. Where would Harlem be then? Neither child spoke for a moment. Each was thinking how the mossy old windmills round about and the black and white cows that grazed so peacefully on the rich green meadows and the neat little farmhouses and the trim shade trees by the kennel and the people and the whole city of Harlem behind them would all be swept away if once the water got through the sluice gates or through the great thick embankments called dikes for holland lies much lower than the level of the ocean and it is only by building these walls that people keep out the sea at last hans drew a deep breath and began to whistle again he was a brave little fellow and seldom afraid of anything don't be thinking of that girl he said the dikes and the sluice gates are watched so carefully they could never give way so harlem is safe enough after all the children trudged on together Sometimes a little sailboat seemed to fly right over the green meadows before them. So hidden from sight was the tiny thread of kennel on which it travelled. Sometimes they passed by field after field of the flaming, fairy-colored tulips, for which Harlem is so famous. Often they crossed little bridges over the kennels. At last Hans bade the goose girl goodbye and went on his way alone. Soon he saw looming up ahead of him the grassy wall of the great sea dike, with the little house of his friend nestled down beneath it. Above, on a level with the roof of the house, you think, on a level with the roof? He saw the shining sea and the ships afloat on the water. End of section 48 The Boy Hero of Harlem A Legend of Holland Recording by TK